All right. All right. Uh, Shalom, Akim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakorash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, in my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, is going to be basically on how this truth is only for the elect, all right, this truth is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, in the nation of Israel, all you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that that lineage go back to the twelve tribes according to the according to their fathers. All right, they may look like the other nations. All right, they may speak the different language of these other nations of these other heathen nations, but their but their seed line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, the Lord is only dealing with the elect of, of Israel, man. All right, because two thirds. All right, here in America, all right, they're blinded and they're going to die, as it says in Zechariah 13 and 8. But let's get this, the book of Isaiah. This is book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 2. You know, just a a, a basic, you know, lesson, but, you know, is 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 uh, heavy because not all Israel is going to be delivered when our Lord Yahweh Shah comes. Only the elect of the nation of Israel. We pray we are part of the elect, man. That's when you, when you first come into this truth. All right, you want all everybody to get it. You expect everybody all right, everybody that's the Israelite to get it once you tell them, but hey, it's not for everybody, all right, as our Lord told us, man. So this is book Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 2, and it makes our job easier, man. All right, the Most High, Yahweh Shemashah, is, is sealing who he wants to seal. All right, we just got to push the word. We just got to tease the word and who the Lord wants to save, that's who the, who's, who the Lord's going to save, that's who we're going to save. Who's, who's going to receive this truth? They're going to receive it. We got, we got to tell our people what they hear for bear. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2. It says, Hear, O heavens, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord have spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Who is he talking about? He's talking about the nation of Israel. All right, the Lord nourished us and brought us up out of the land of Egypt, where we're serving hardcore bondage. All right. And the Lord delivered us from all our enemies, man. All right. All right, the Lord got us, all right, when Moses led us, all right, and then he eventually died, and Joshua took the ram, and then the Lord got us, you know, in our land, the home, the holy land that he promised to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaiah, and Jacob, all right, and the Lord nourished us, all right, he, he took care of us, he, he made us eat, you know, we, we, got, we was fed during those 40 years, all right, we ate, we fed, the Lord took care of us, all right. But his script said they have rebelled against him. All right. Verse three, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. All right. Talking about two stubborn animals. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Yeah. Israel don't know. All right. Majority of Israel, they're in all type of philosophies. All right. They bugged out. That's why the Lord said it's only for the elect. Romans, Romans chapter 11 and verse... Romans chapter 11. I started verse 1. The point is in 11. Well, I can go down. The point is, I'll go down into verse 10. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have the Most High Yahweh cast away his people. Yahweh forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. This is Apostle Paul. All right. The Lord said he didn't cast away his people. All right. Because while the Lord is dealing with the remnant. All right. And eventually... You know, in the kingdom of heaven, all Israel going to be saved. All Israel going to come back through the elect. But they're going to have to die on this side, especially in you here in America. Verse 2. Yahweh have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Want ye know, so that want ye not what the scriptures saith in Isaiah? How that, how he make an intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, verse 3. Elijah. This is Elijah. Verse uh, 3, it says, Lord. They have killed the prophets 
dig down thy altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Verse 4, but what saith the answer of the Most High unto me? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men that have not bowed the knee to the image of my all. So the Lord has 7,000, meaning complete. In this time, what, is 144,000, you know, started with the prophets and that great multitude that have not bowed down to the image of our all, all right? Which in these times, the image of the beast, which is the revised Roman Empire, and, the, and they're not going to take the elect, it's not going to take the karagma, which is the MOTB, all right? Verse 5, even so, even so then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And in if by grace, then it is not no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. Verse 7. What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. All right. The rest, the elect has attained it, and the rest were blinded. That's why this truth is a gift. Ephesians 2 and 8. <laughs> Ephesians 2 and verse wow. Ephesians 2 and verse 4 But Yahweh who is rich in mercy For his great love Wherein he loved us So Yahweh shall love us man Even when we were dead in sins Have quickened us together With Hamashiach By grace are ye saved man So the Lord you know show mercy on us You know well The Lord is showing mercy on us You know Lord wouldn't party like the Lord is going to deliver us Verse 6, and have raised us up together and made us sit in heavenly places in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Verse 7, that in the ages to come, which we're in these times right now, the last days, he might show his show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Verse 8, for by grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua. So this faith is a gift. And the Wadi Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua for this unspeakable gift that the scripture says. For it's not, not of works, lest any man should boast. So it's not about your works, but the scripture said, if you should have faith, you're going to show your works. All right? We give diligence to make our call in, in election sure. All right? We're sent, for we are his workmanship, created in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah unto good works, which Yahweh have before ordained that we should walk in them. All right. So the Lord, you know, we are his workmanship. By us believing, we're going to do the work all right, by default. All right. Romans 11. In verse 7 again. What then Israel have not attained that which is seeking for, but the election have attained it and the rest were blinded. Was it Romans 13, I believe? Romans 13. No, Romans... Yeah, Romans chapter 9 and verse 6. Not as though the word of Yahweh have taken effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. All right, so the so the Lord, we are the chosen people, our right, Israel out of all the nations, but within the nation of Israel, there's a chosen of Israel. That's why the scripture said the, the Israel of the most high. Galatians 6 and 16. As many as slide in as many as Walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy and upon the Israel of Yahweh. So there's the Israel of the Most High. All right, there's, there's regular Israel, and then there's the elect of Israel. All right. So back at Romans, Romans chapter 11, <clears throat> in verse 7 again. What did Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded? Verse uh, 8, as uh, so according as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. So unto this day. Alright. So the ones who can't get it, hey, you can't worry about them. They're going to die on this side, they're going to have to come back. Alright. Because David already said it. It says, and David says, let that table be a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back always. All right, so the Lord, I right, blinded them as it says, what Isaiah the sixth chapter. All right, 
And Isaiah asked the Lord, how long? Let's get that. I'm going to get Isaiah 1. Actually, let me get this and I'll go back to Isaiah 1. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9. And he said, go and tell this people here indeed, talking about Israel, but understand not and see indeed, but perceive not. Y'all people hear this word, but they don't understand it. You know, they see us out on the highways and byways, but they, they, it can't, they can't enter in them the fullness of what we're doing. Verse 10, the heart of this people, it's like make the heart of this people fat, make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So the Lord got an angel blocking them. All right. So they can't hear or see spiritually. Verse 11, then said I, Lord, how long? And he said, and he answered and put our airplane on. I feel like somebody going to fucking call me. Or text me Isaiah chapter <laughs> slack yeah you, know, you gotta make the video all over again Isaiah chapter 6 <laughs> in verse 9 it's like Isaiah chapter 6 in verse uh, 11 then said I Lord Yahweh how long and he answered unto the cities be wasted without inhabitant and the houses without men in the land be utterly desolate so that's how long Israel gonna be be blinded all right, until this shit blow, until the Lord, Lord blow this place up, man. 200 million nuclear warheads. All right, also laser fire from the chariots. All right, so let's go back to Isaiah, the first chapter. So an ox in the, in the, in the, um, and the ass is smarter than these, in these jakes, man. All right, the Lord said they don't, they don't consider. And the Lord is only dealing with Israel. Let's get this precept. In case people say the Lord is dealing with the whole world. All right, let's see. Let's see what the scriptures say. Yeah, the whole world of Israel. <laughs> That's another topic. Psalm chapter 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise you the Lord. So the Lord only dealing with Israel, but the elect of Israel in these times, man. Isaiah 1 and verse 4. It's like Isaiah 1 and verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. That's why the Lord said, Consider your ways. I believe that in Habakkuk, no, in um, Haggai. <coughs> All right. Verse 4. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. A seed of evildoers, man. Look at these people. They're into all type of idol worship. All right. All type of different philosophies. They're murderers, robbers, drug dealers, uh, thieves. All right. Sodomites, bug outs, complete demons. <laughs> all right. They're corrupt. Verse five. You know, the, the two thirds, all right, the ones, the ones who the Lord rejected, all right, because they, because, hey, they, 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 um, strip say, um, Hosea 4 and 6, they rejected the Lord, so the Lord rejected them, man, because the word is out, the prophecies are out, the prophecies are out all over the internet, all over your cities. <coughs> verse 5, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 5, <coughs> says, Why? Should ye be stricken any more, ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart is faint. All right, the whole head started with the tribe of Judah, which are you so-called Negroes, down to the tribe of Issachar, you so-called Mexicans. From from you Negroes to you Mexicans, all right, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, Puerto Ricans, West Indians, you know, Haitians, all right, South and Central Americans. All right, and all the jakes are scattered, man. From Judah on down, the whole head is sick. They're through, verse 6. From the sole of the feet, even unto the head. From from Issachar on down, which there ain't, there ain't no order. We just know that what the head tribe is Judah because what our Lord sprung out of Judah. Our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right. All right. The whole head. From the sole of the foot even to the head, there's no soundness in it. You know, they're not made whole. 
you know, but wounds and bruises and putrefied sores, they have not been closed, neither bounded up, neither modified with ointment. You're, yeah, so, so the whole head is sick, man. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land strangers devour in the in your presence and is desolate as overthrown by strangers. And that's what we see that right now in our in our in our presence. There's strangers, heathens in our land. The scripture said the heathen shall dwell in Nazareth. You got uh, Amalek over here. You got all these other nations that de- de- got our land desolate. Got our land looking like a fucking circus over there, man. All right, but the Lord going to destroy that land. He's going to take us back. The elect, Lord, we ain't probably let. And we're going to see that Jerusalem, holy Jerusalem built up, man. Stones, sapphire, emeralds. And two-thirds, they're going to die on this side, man. But the Lord said, what? The elect have to chain it. Let's get this um, Matthew chapter 13. And I'll close out on this. All right. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 9. Who have ears to hear? Let them hear. This is our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Verse 10. And the disciples came... And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. All right. So we, we know the, the deep sins, the, the mysteries, you know, through the spirit and power. How about you, shine? The Lord opened up our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ears. We know what by Russia got nuclear missiles and Iran, North Korea. We know what, what the end result of those missiles are. We know what what these uh the karagma those those emo uh the karagmas, all right, the new digital the digital system we know the end result of that what what the what the agenda is, all right, because the Lord made it clear unto us. We know the prophecies the you know through the Spirit and power Yahweh Shema Shah setting up the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right, because why is given unto us Lord when we endure to the end we may be saved. Verse twelve. For whosoever have to him shall it be given, and he ha- shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Verse 13, therefore I therefore speak I to them in parables, because they sing, see not. Same thing the Lord said in, um, I mean, same thing Isaiah said, Isaiah 6. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they sing not, because they sing, see not, and hearing they hear not. Neither do they understand. All right. Verse 14. They not they don't understand. Verse 14. It says, In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and that shall not perceive. All right. So that's what the Lord said since the time of Isaiah, and that's happening now, man. Verse 15. For this people's heart is, their mind is wax gross. And their ears are dull of hearing. Their their mind is clogged and their ears is clogged through the spirit of Pai Yabash Shah. And their eyes have in the in the have they closed, you know? And they are they and they they so rebellious they refuse. At least at any time they should see with their eyes, should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and, and should understand with their heart and should be converted, and I will heal them. So if they would see, you know, all right. If they could understand it and convert to this truth, the Lord would heal them. But the Lord got them blinded so he can destroy them. The Lord don't want to heal them. The Lord want to destroy them. That's why the Lord told Jeremiah, pray not for these people for their good. Because he would not hear us. He would not hear our prayers if we pray for these wicked people. Verse 16, this is the point. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. Verse 17, for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. So bless our eyes because we see and we hear. The ancient prophets, they desire to be in these times. And guess what? We the prophets coming back. All right. Waiting for our Lord Yahushua to come and set up the everlasting kingdom for us, man. All right. So Lord, winning this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor. In all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom Akim, keep pushing, keep enduring. Shalom.